Hey, good morning. Uh, sports fans, fans of uh, this car that you're seeing, um, and thank you so much for watching Battles of Z in the Land channel. Uh, we know there's a, a million, a trillion, probably even a bigger number than that, uh, YouTube channels you can watch about cars, car people, car stuff, cars, cars, cars. But if you're watching this, we're grateful uh, because we're trying to we're trying to just do a super amateur thing. I'm by no means a pro, not probably going to become a pro YouTuber. Uh, we don't make any money off of this channel. Uh, the reason that we do it is uh, to capture the exploits of this car, which is a really rare uh, twin turbo Z uh, with an amazing backstory. At some point, I'll tell you about this car. Uh, but anyway, this is the closing clip for the uh, first Southern uh car show yesterday which was uh some really strange things happened and the way that it ended was was amazing uh but you see the engine and if you follow this channel you know that i'm a i, I put a lot of stock in this this I, I put so much money time effort into this engine bay and it's not it's because i love motors and uh and this car has one um five best engine trophies so it's not just me that thinks maybe the engine is pretty cool uh it is uh and so uh it, it's just amazing when we get recognized with the best engine trophy uh that means more to me than any other trophy but so we were at the show and uh i didn't shoot any footage because there weren't any cars there i really wanted to show you it's just some of these shows it's just the same old people or the same old American muscle cars and 57 Chevys until I just can't look at another one. Um, I, I get it there. If you like 57 Chevys, I think it's awesome. You, you should love them and want them. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of most American uh, muscle cars, except for the Mopars and uh, occasionally a rare uh, vet, like a 68 split window or, you know, there's some really rare, muscle cars that i love um but anyway so just starting out this pick with the engine bay uh pick this video and uh and so we were at the show uh it was really windy at the uh first southern baptist church where we were set up for the show and so i took you know the normal amount of time hour hour plus to detail a uh, little red and then I usually bring a change of clothes because I get you get greasy and grimy and especially doing the wheels you're down on uh, one knee probably at some points and uh and so I went in to change well while I was gone into the church to change and came back out maybe 10 minutes max the wind had blown the hood up so I'm going to just show you so you can kind of see so this hood prop is the only thing holding the hood up there there are no springs in Z's they just have a hinge and a prop uh, a lot of sports cars are that way. So what happened, and I'll try to show you, uh, the wind uh, blew the Z, the hood up, the latch, the prop came out, I'm gonna show you where it went. It just laid down. Actually, I can't reproduce it. It, it should have destroyed, basically. It, it went down like this. It was laying in the front of the motor um <clears throat> like that so it did not destroy this uh ams polished aluminum uh fuse box cover it could have just i mean that could be gone it, it did not even scratch it really uh and then the hood slammed down and so the hood was down slammed shut uh when i got back to the z there were a bunch of people around and they go oh man uh your car your hood just slammed down really hard so let me just go ahead and put the hood down so the hood was down um i'm, I'm not going to tell you what what i did but so there were a bunch of <coughs> excuse me people from the show trying to help me were like oh no it's it's it, it's hurt it, it's jammed up bad uh and so that was that happened right before judging time so the, the hood of the z is down uh, I'll just put it down. This nose panel is off. I have a clear acrylic uh, piece that goes in there so that you can see the cold air intake. Uh, so the hood is down like this. And uh, basically right after I finished detailing the car. 
So all the way through judging, it was a contestant judge show, the hood is down on the Z. This is just, you know, yeah, it's a pretty car, but the, everything, the real ow and wow factor is underneath that hood, which is down. And we can't get it up. Uh, I'm, I'm pulling the release and it, it's not it's not releasing. And uh, this panel's out, so we, we could see in there. We could see that it, it wasn't bent. The, the hasp was in, in the mechanism. It, 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 it went down straight and right into the uh, hinge mechanism, but uh, we couldn't get it to release. And so I just thought, okay, there's no chance. This is not happening for Little Red. This is not happening. Uh, there's no way anyone here is going to vote. And there was a Porsche there, uh, which is are not uh, uh, un non-stiff competition is very stiff and then a gtr pulled in just right before registration ended so and there was also a i think it was about a 1985 to 89 uh 300 zx um i don't know he didn't have his hood open uh which usually is an indicator at a car show that your engine engine bay is a mess and not worthy of being shown um, people do leave their hoods down on purpose because their motor sucks but I don't, and, and so I was devastated, and I'm like, there's no way the Z is beating the Porsche or, or even the GTR, uh, so I had no expectations. I just thought, but yeah, it's we're at the show. We got it all dialed in, and now the hood's down. Um, so anyway, um, I'm just gonna turn around and, and walk in and let you see how, how it ended because it, it ended in an amazing fashion. Um, so anyway, I'm sitting there with some new friends that I made, car show friends, and uh, this is the first place um, import trophy. Yeah, it's not huge. It's not always the size of the trophy that matters. Uh, some of these trophies are small. Some shows give out small trophies. The If you see back here, the Daryl Starber Rod and Custom Show uh, trophy, it, it's not very large. It's extremely big in prestige this is one of the biggest car shows in the country and they just don't overstate their trophies they don't have to back in the back there that huge trophy um import face-off that's just their that's their thing they give out big trophies and that's great i love it uh this trophy is the one that's second in size that's from um thunderbird casino that is my favorite trophy uh, of that style of trophy. It's just awesome with flames on the pillars, the columns on it. Um, but this matters to me because the Z won this trophy with the hood down. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't have, I mean, I was in utter shock when they said my name and the people I was with said, see, you didn't need your hood up. And I go, but I wanted it up. Uh, it was just an amazing moment for me to realize, you know, you put a lot of weight and focus on your engine and engine bay, but the rest of the car is pretty special. Or it couldn't possibly win and be, you know, like GTRs and Porsches, but it did. I was super grateful. It was awesome. It was an amazing ending. And then I figured out what was going on with the hood and, and got the hood uh, latched to release uh, just before... Uh, just, you know, the trophy ceremony was happening. I, I went over to get my phone and I thought to myself, let me try this. And the, this that I tried worked. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is because it's a little embarrassing uh, because I just, we all just assumed because the it slammed down so hard that it was jacked. It, it wasn't. And there's no damage to the car. The Z is fine. And, and we won first place in import. It's just a great great ending i mean all's well that ends well is absolutely a true statement and and so thank you to for southern there was a ton of volunteers out there they took care of us they fed us uh burgers and uh and there was you know i met new friends uh say hello to jennifer that's a new person um that i met yesterday um and so you just never know who you're gonna meet at car shows and car people are in the car culture are, are so cool. They're just the coolest people in the world. And uh, right at the end of the show, I was putting up the, taking the flooring up and putting, you know, everything, you know, packing up the Z to go home. 
And a couple came up, the lady took my picture because all of the friends I made, they were long gone. It takes me about 30 minutes to break everything down and pack it in because I don't have much room in there. It's like a Rubik's, not Rubik's cube, what's the word, Tetris. It's like Tetris. Uh, but anyway, a uh, couple came up and they were talking about the Oogle and the Z and taking pictures of it. And I asked the lady if she would take my picture with my trophy next to the car because I always get one. Uh, at every show that the Z wins. And uh, and then they saw the license plate and they go, that is the coolest license plate. I go, they go, Cali, that is so cool. I go, do you know what it means? And they go, we're from LA. So of course they know what it means. No one in California says the word California. They call it Cali, C-A-L-I. And the license plate on the Z is C-A-L-I space T-T for Cali Twin Turbo. Uh, it's a San Diego car, uh, was sold new there, lived there its whole life until I was so fortunate to buy it and have it shipped here to Oklahoma. So a great ending to what was a really frustrating, um, exasperating uh, car show for me with my thinking my hood's jacked and now I have, you know, major problems to deal with. Uh, and and there's no way the car can win. None of those things were true. Uh, everything was fine. I just didn't know it at the time. So, hey, we, we love you guys. Thank you for watching Bass Z in the Land channel. Stay, stay tuned. Uh, later today, we're gonna be doing a cruise in Oklahoma segment. Uh, we're gonna cruise to um, Lucille's Diner in Hydro, Oklahoma, which is a famous diner uh, established back in the 20s, and then on to the Tom